Mystery Bracket family, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm a part of the Mystery Box Challenge this month. What it is, is a challenge that is put together every other month by my friend Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. Some crafters get together and send each other a box filled with some items to craft with along with two challenge items. This time around, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses sent us all our challenge items. So I sent my box to the Daily DIYer, Shannon, and then I was sent a box from Whitney at Whiskey and Wit. And funny story, not that funny, but it's a story. Shannon and Whitney and I are gonna be seeing the Backstreet Boys very soon. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Okay, enough of that. I'm now gonna open my box that Whitney sent over. Hey Bethany, I'm so excited to be sending you this box, especially because all I had to do was pick out the fun stuff and not the challenge items. Finn and I took, and Finn is your son, he's so adorable, took a trip to Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby to fill your box, and Finn threw in a fun creative activity for Cooper too. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm so excited to see what you create with this box. I know it'll all be amazing. You always make the cutest stuff. Happy crafting. And can't wait to jam out to BSB so freaking soon. See? When he knows what's up. Okay, so let's see what I got here. So the first thing it looks like we have is some paper, uh, different types of paper. Oh, that's so cute. Cooper's gonna be so happy. So she sent over one of these mess-free markers and Cooper loves this stuff. We actually bought a bunch when we went to Florida for him to color with. Here, this is from Finn. Say thank you, Finn. Thank you. And next up, oh, we got a paper mache book from Hobby Lobby. Oh, two of them. He got me this rub and buff wax metallic finish. Never used anything like this before. Um, some lemonade napkins. Oh, I'm excited about this. She got me right here, this chalkboard frame, chalkboard piece. Oh, she also gave me one of these painting easels from Dollar Tree and then the bamboo rings from Dollar Tree. Now it's time to open up the challenge items from Megan. The first thing we can <laughs> We got the, like a coconut bra or something. We got, yes, yes, we got a coconut bra. I'm in the itty bitty titty committee. I'm the president of it actually, and this is, okay, TMI, okay. Anyways, the next thing that we got, I don't know if she was just being nice and knew that I might be out of diapers for Cooper. Does it count if I just throw this on Cooper? Like, does that count as a DIY? Like if I just throw a sticker on this? and call it a day. Those are my uh, crafting items and my challenge items. So let's see what I can do with this. Okay, we're gonna focus on the diaper project for this. And I have this crate, I got it from Michaels. It's about $10. I don't know if the price went up because the price of everything's going up. Um, and I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna have to touch it up a little bit, but this is what I'm gonna be using for my project. Now I'm gonna be using two of these 36 inch long pieces of hobby wood that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna take these pieces of wood and attach them to my crates. And to attach them, I'm just using some screws. Okay, now I got this 18 inch piece of craft wood from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue it on the very top of these. So in my box, I have this chalkboard sign from Whitney. So I'm actually going to hang it off. I'm not gonna glue it. There's a sawtooth hanger right there. I'd rather hang it so that way this can be reused. I'm actually gonna write down the name of the baby on this chalkboard. And this is when the diaper is going to come to play. I'm gonna fill this bottom up with diapers. This is the lone one that I can provide it. So I'm just gonna throw it in there. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. <gasps> so now I'm just going to put clothes and that's what you're gonna do if you're actually gonna make this. You'll just put clothes at the top of this. I'll just choose a few outfit pieces. I'm actually just using Cooper's stuff. So that's why it's not like newborn. But this is a good gift, honestly, for a toddler too. Here are some ideas. Obviously, you don't go with it if you don't want to. But then I'm gonna do a blanket and then a teddy bear. I didn't know if I was gonna use the coconut for this, but I have an idea. So I'm going to unattach the coconuts. Okay, so now I got some twine and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the twine to attach it to my wood piece right here. I gotta figure out how long I gotta cut this. I don't want it to hang about 
this low. But now I'm gonna put an owl. And there you have it. I used the coconut too, which that was a part of the challenge. I had to use both items. I have some greenery that I'm just going to glue around the coconut. How cute is this? It's so easy to do and the great thing is you can customize it to fit your budget if you want to give this away as a gift. And it doesn't just have to be for a baby shower. You can switch this out or around for pretty much any age. And I'm just glad I got the mystery challenge items out of the way. Now we're not going to stop there. We're going to continue with the diapers. I really wanted to make a diaper cake. If you're not familiar with a diaper cake, it's a cake that you make out of diapers. You don't actually eat it and it's usually given as a gift during a baby shower. So I'm actually going to use a candy bowl from Dollar Tree as kind of the base of what's going to hold all the diapers together. So I start to put diapers around the bowl and I prefer this method there's another method I've seen where people roll the diapers and if you've ever changed a diaper before you know if you have a rolled up diaper it's really annoying to work with it gets all crunchy it's just not fun to work with so I prefer this because it causes minimal like denting inside to <laughs> denting in a diaper I don't know just doesn't it holds the shape better so I'm gonna make three diaper layers. Once I have a layer done, I take some twine from Dollar Tree and I just tie it into place. So I wrap it around a layer, tie it with just a knot. I then work on my next layer and these diapers sit on top of the bowl. That's why I really like to use the candy bowl because you have to use less diapers so you can save more money. Unless you wanna give the person a whole lot of diapers. Once I have that layer done, I put some diapers in the middle and these are the ones that I roll up the most just because I need a good base there. And then I'm gonna put more diapers around those rolled up diapers. So those diapers at the very top are on top of the diapers that are touching the bowl. Does that make sense? Eh, if you try this, you'll, uh, you'll know exactly what to do. Once I have that done, I take a plushie and I just place it at the very top of this. Once I have the plushie between the diapers, I then go ahead and tie up the last layer. So I did three layers of diapers. Now I picked up this plate from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place my diapers right on top of the plate. I ended up picking up this headband from Dollar Tree and I'm actually going to wrap it around this and just place it on the middle layer and if you're wondering these diapers are bigger they're not newborn i was using cooper's diapers so yes i made a cake out of cooper's diapers finally i placed some socks baby socks at the very bottom of this around the cake and these socks are from dollar tree they have so many cute socks to choose from they have lots of cute baby accessories as well that's it it's so easy to do and you save so much more money making this yourself than buying it i recommend getting the basket bags from dollar tree and placing this inside of the basket bag when you're giving it out as a gift it just makes everything look more clean and put together and it's easy to transport i'm going to take this apart on camera this has been like this for almost a week now and you can kind of tell because it is kind of like opening up just a little bit but this is why I prefer to do it this way. The diapers still stay intact for the most part. The ones that are in the middle that I had to roll a little bit more, you can see they don't hold the shape as well. And if I actually really would have rolled them, they just get like so annoying when you do that. So I prefer to do this method versus the one where you roll the diapers really, really tight. See, they still, for the most part, keep their shape. Finally, I wanted to tackle the books. And I'm going to do decoupage. You guys, I am not good at this. So basically what you're gonna do is you are going to take the backing off of your napkin. So I'm gonna be using the lemon napkins and I'm going to peel the white part off of the napkin. Next up, I'm gonna put Mod Podge on top of my books. I'm using a gloss Mod Podge. I would have preferred matte. I just didn't have that one on hand. So I do a layer. I try to make sure I get as much of the wrinkles out as I could. And then I place my napkins on top of this. I've only done decoupage once and I wasn't great at it. This is my second time. And once I realized I was going to get crinkles, no matter what, I decided that I was going to go with this and make this look more rustic and antique, like something that has been aging. 
I then go ahead and cut off any napkin that I do not need and then I do my layer of Mod Podge on top of the napkins. While the glue was drying, I decided to paint the sides of the book, or like the inside I guess where the pages would be, white. Usually I would wait for the glue to dry. I decided to do that because I was on a time crunch. I had to go to the doctor, so I was like trying to hurry up and get this done. Because I'm going for that antique look, I thought this rub and buff paint would be perfect just to give it a more antique rustic feel and also have this really pretty metallic that goes well with the yellow of the lemons. So what I did is where I saw creases or any wrinkles, I applied this rub and buff there and then I applied it along the edges on the side so any of hard edges that I saw I liked to put the rub and buff there. I really like this. I want to use this again. I've never used it before. It's so easy to work with and I like that it has a really nice metallic finish because sometimes you get metallic paint and after it dries it's not really that metallic. This remains metallic. Now I'm going to take some twine from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it around the books and then tie it into place. I'm now going to embellish this with some greenery as well as these wood beads that I got from Dollar Tree. Finally, I got these letter tiles from Dollar Tree. They're like scrabble pieces. I glued a bunch together using wood glue and I just wrote out or spelled out lemon. And that's how I made these farmhouse rustic lemon books. Here's a little bonus. As I was filming, Cooper started singing Clean Up from Barney. Clean up, clean up. He started singing that. It's so cute. Clean up, clean up. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the playlist link down below so you can check out everybody else's videos. I love this group of people so much and they do such awesome DIYs. So make sure you check them out. Again, everything is linked in the description box. Take care. Bye.